Hey guys, it's me, Kim, or Sissy, or whoops, I dropped a stitch. Jackson, you're fine. Or Romance Queen of Booktube. Um, I haven't made a video in a while, so I figured I'd come on here and do like a sit and chat video. I'll tell you what I've been reading. Um... Let's see. I'm still reading No Place Home by Mary Higgins Clark. I'm on chapter 26. I gotta get to chapter 31 before I can text my bubba about what I'm thinking so far about the book. I am currently reading a mail order bride book about this woman whose husband was a cattle thief and he ended up getting shot by one of his employees because um, he was trying to tell him, you know, come with me. You don't have to do this. We know you've been stealing the cattle and we're taking you in. He raised his gun. The dude and the sheriff shot at the same time, and he thinks his bullet hit him. He, he's pretty sure it did, but um, he offers marriage of convenience to his widow. But needless to say, the widow is hesitant. She doesn't know that he was the one that shot him or was there when he got shot. And she's pregnant. <laughs> between six to seven months pregnant and it's a lot of twists and turns it's in my september box set of hang on 2017 box set that i have i think let me show you let me get on my good reads sorry my hair keeps getting in my face Oh, I got in my books. A uh, Rancher of Convenience by Rena Scott. This is the third book, and you know, with Harquin, you don't necessarily have to read in order. And I'm still waiting on Nicole to finish uh, the first part of Cinderella Undone because there's a second book. And I'm hoping to start that soon. Um, Diana Palmer, Protector. I'm on Chapter 3. I also got this on Audible, so I might listen to it today. Nanny and the Beast by Georgia Lee Care. That is on Kindle Unlimited. And The Billionaire's Affecting Acquaintance um, by Sharon Kendrick. I'm listening to that with the Audible Romance Package. And that's what I've been up to. I've not, I don't think I've finished, I might have finished a book. I can't remember. I got a lot going on. But, um, that's what I'm currently going to be doing this weekend. Along with the kids, reading to them. There are new library books that I put on hold that I'm supposed to get today. Hopefully, all my books come in to where... I can pick them up. Also, I wanted to talk about libraries. If I can get this stitch fixed. Yeah. Okay, I think I got it. Um, there are a few. I was supposed to slip that anyway. Crap. Okay, hang on. I wasn't supposed to knit that. Okay, slip it. Knit it. Okay. Anyways, what I was talking about, library halls. I have noticed more people buying instead of doing library halls. And I understand wanting to own the physical copy and build your own library. But I connect it again. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. See, I can't connect these parts or it won't be a blanket. It'll be a big 
something, but it won't be a blanket. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, I don't want to connect it because <laughs> that'll be a big, um, either cow or a cocoon. Okay, anyways, but like I was saying, I noticed that there are more halls of buying, which I enjoy, don't get me wrong. I just wish... What just happened? There we go, it got twisted. That's easy to do, is to twist your stitches. If you're not paying attention the right way, or drop a stitch, I've done that before, which I guess did. So what I wanna do is pick it up, move that over, pick this to where I can pick up that stitch without dropping something. Ha ha, I did it. Hey Sarah, you'd be proud. Okay, anyways, what I was saying, there is more book halls than library halls, and I wish that they would be like even, because I love the library. I've got books on hold that I'm hopefully gonna pick up today. I put four of them on hold. Um, one is by Debbie McComer, and it's Male Older Brides. It's one of her older books, and it's volume one. So I'm guessing there's um, many different volumes of that book. So, if I like this, the um, short stories in it, I might check out volume two. I also checked out some Amish romance. I love my Amish books. I've got an addiction. I love them. And I was looking through and I found some other good stuff as well. So, I think I'm just going to make a little list. And the thing is, most of the books that I did check out are large print. That way, it's easy on my eyes. To go back and forth from the Kindle because I enlarge the print on my Kindle I cheat that way I read a little bit faster in my head I think I do I'll probably read slower because of the print but either way but um what do you guys think do you think they're even or do you think that um, they only increase during a certain time during the year when it's library month or do you just prefer just to have ebook or physical book or both or audible? What is your preference? To me, I, I'm an ebook person. I'm starting to get audible. And I like the fact that um, I can go to the library, pick out a few books that I want to try the author by, and read it. Um, I do know that eventually I would like to own. The first three, I think that's how it works, the first three books in the Blossom Street series. And I think I'm going to ask for that either for Christmas or my birthday. And maybe the first three and then four through six. That way I'm set up for a little bit. Let's see what I think. I might, I don't know. But like I said, sometimes... Um, if I like the author, I want to buy it. And then other times, if I auto-buy and I don't like the author, it's like, ugh. So, yeah. Library has definitely got its awesomeness. And we have a local book club here, too. And we have a um, st stitch club that meets, meets on Tuesdays. I think it's the same time the pre-K meets, so I don't know for sure. I'll have to ask, but um, I know next Tuesday, if everything goes good, I'm taking the boys to pre-K um, thing they have at the library. I'm going to try and get Zach to where his sister does. She loves reading, and Zach, he's, just, he's a up boom, 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 so maybe the library program, he'll like it. And Jackson, he just goes with the flow. But yeah, tell me your thoughts. Do you use your library for um, the things they offer? Or do you just go out and just automatically buy? Because um, I'm finding that I have less and less shelf 
room on my bookshelf. And I think what I'm going to start doing is either going through and unhauling the ones I know I won't read or read it, then donate it. Read it, then donate it. Unless I'm going to reread it. Do you know what I mean? Because that way, at least I'm um, switching out. Unless it is one of the older Harquins and I want to keep it, then I'll keep it. But um, I need to start rotating out and stuff. But them library book sales are an addiction. But I'll, I can't remember her name, but she's on YouTube. She's um, put in a dollar in the jar every month of how many books she reads. So if you read from your bookshelf and not buy, not go to the library, let's say five books, you put five dollars in the jar. And then by the time the library book sales come around, she um, goes to the library book sale. That's her money. See that? That is a good idea. But I don't know if I could have that strong will to do that. Because I do like my Kindle Unlimited. I love it. And I like my Audible package because I can clean and listen to my books. Or I can knit and listen to my books. It makes time go by really fast. But that is a really good idea. What do you guys think? You think you could do it? Read from your shelves and not um, buy a physical book or go to the library and then save your money up to do book sales? I don't know if I would have that much willpower. Hmm. Well, that is my Friday reads, what I'm currently reading. My thoughts about booktube on certain hauls and everything. Um, when I get my books in, I will do a book haul and stuff and show you what I got. And hopefully I'll get them all read. But we'll see. And if you're currently wondering what I'm making, I'm making a blanket out of Burnett Pop yarn. I've got six skeins of this. And I cast it on 110 stitches. You slip one stitch and you knit all the way to the end. Then you flip it and knit it again. But you got to make sure you don't join the ends or you will have a big butt cow. And that's where you put it around your neck. <laughs> and we don't want that. So, hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you soon. Hopefully, be. Um, either tonight or tomorrow with a book haul from the library. Bye, guys.